let's add a little bit more power to our program here. And when we hover over the rectangle, we can change its color. Uh, now to do this, we can use the fill and stroke commands. Uh, that change uh, fill being the inner color and stroke being the uh, outline color. Currently the fill is a white color, 255, 255 by 255, and the stroke is uh, black, which is 0 by 0 by 0 for those RGB colors. Uh, so to do this, let's change uh, our if statement here, and when we hover over our rectangle, uh, let's make it black. So I'm going to put in a fill of 0, I can do 0, 0, 0, or just 0 to make all three colors uh, black, and refresh. Okay, so it filled the one time that it drew, uh, but now it's, uh, since we've set that fill color uh, the one time to always be black, um, it's not quite going to work because um, we've always said from now on uh, we've changed the state of how we fill colors. Uh, so we want to change this fill state, uh, that is um, when we're drawing uh, shapes, whether they're rectangles or any other shape, uh, to something else. Um, but only change it to uh, black if we're uh, hovering over them, the rectangle. So if I edit my code and outside my if condition uh, make it white again, let's see what happens. Uh, make, an, make a prediction and see if this fixes the problem. So it's rendering uh, white, if I hover over, uh, still not working. Uh, but we changed the state, uh, but we have to pay attention to where we're drawing this rectangle. Okay. So in our draw function, remember it's executing top to bottom, first drawing a blue background, then drawing a rectangle, and then we're changing our fill state to zero, uh, a black color, and then immediately back to white, no matter what. Uh, so let's think about uh, what ordering makes sense here. We can draw our background in blue, draw our rectangle, uh, but really before we draw our rectangle, we want to choose what color uh, it's going to be filled in. So let's move this code uh, down here. Let's see if that fixes the problem. If I refresh, well, same problem because remember this fill is still right above. Uh, the rectangle that we're drawing. So I'm going to put this within an else statement to make sure that only one or the other fill command is running. That is, if this condition is satisfied that we're hovering over our rectangle, set the fill to zero, a black color, otherwise uh, set it to white. So let's save, refresh, and see what happens. Alright, this is looking much better here. So now we've got uh, sort of a simple button and some interactivity. That is, our system's giving us uh, a more vibrant response when we hover over this rectangle.